On the National Geographic website, it states that deforestation is when workers clear the Earth's forests on a massive scale, often resulting in damage to the land. Forests still cover about 30% of the world's land area today. How does it work? Deforestation works by clearing forests by either burning or clear cutting, with the permanent destruction of forests resulting in the land being available for other uses, such as farms, using it to graze the livestock and building. This provides money that farmers need to provide for their families. Where does deforestation occur? Deforestation occurs all over the globe, for instance, Indonesia, Russia, Mexico, Peru and Sudan, just to name a few. In of these countries, 88% has been found to be illegal in some way. But with all the rewards, money and space to farm, there are so many disgusting effects on the world and rainforests caused by deforestation. What are some of the effects that deforestation has? Deforestation affects a variety of things, but there are three different areas that deforestation affects the most. These are the environment, local towns and animals. Environment. Deforestation affects the environment. When deforestation occurs, it deprives the forest of its canopy. A canopy blocks sun rays during the day and holds the heat for the night. The loss of forest canopy leads to more extreme temperature swings, which harms animals and plants majorly. The trees assist the water cycle by returning the water vapour back into the atmosphere. Without the trees, the former forest lands can quickly become deserts. This process will ultimately result in climate change. Trees also play a crucial role in absorbing greenhouse gases that cause global warming a major problem in our world today. Fewer forests results in larger amounts of greenhouse gases entering our atmosphere. Animals 70% of the world's land animals and plants live in forests. Many species cannot survive the deforestation because it is destroying their homes. Species that are impacted include Asian elephant, chimpanzee, giant panda, gorilla, orangutan, rhino, just to name a few. If deforestation continues at the current rate, all of the world's rainforests could disappear. A study of the United Nations Environment Programme predicts that orangutans will be virtually eliminated in the wild within the next two decades if the current rate of deforestation continues in Indonesia. The result of clear cutting and burning of forests in Indonesia has declined the orangutan's habitat by 80% in just the last 20 years. Towns and villages. Forest provides cover for the ground. When forest is lost, runoff flows into streams quickly, which elevates the water levels. This can cause flooding in local villages and cities. However, in the dry season, it can cause droughts, which can disrupt the crop growth rate. These crops could be what the villagers feed on, leaving them nothing to eat. Case study, Brazil. Causes. Brazil currently has the highest amount of deforestation in the world. 3,466,000 hectares of forest has been destroyed, which is mostly happening in the Amazon rainforest. Most of the deforestation that is happening in Brazil is used for cattle ranching. Since the cattle stocks are increasing, the only way to make enough room for them is to get rid of forest. Brazil exports lots of meat to Europe. Between 1990 and 2001, the percentage of Brazil's meat exports to Europe rose by 34%. Hydroelectric dams also contribute to the loss of forest. 
Dams in the Amazon have flooded big areas of it. This is becoming an issue because when the dams flood, the trees die. Other than cattle ranching, soybean production has been a major cause to deforestation in the Amazon. Since Brazil is the second biggest soybean producer in the world, a lot of land is required for the fields. Soybeans are used for a range of things such as feeding cattle. Large fast food chains have used soybeans to feed their animals so they can bulk up. An effect of deforestation in the Amazon is the loss of biodiversity. Since large amounts of forest is being burned, cut down or flooded, habitats of animals are being destroyed. This could possibly mean that we are losing cures for diseases such as Ebola. Deforestation also disrupts water cycles. If the trees go, then there are no trees to evaporate groundwater, which will make the local climate dry. This could cause droughts and barren deserts. It is also affecting the natives of Brazil. With deforestation, Amerindians are dying and their ways of life are being destroyed. Case study, palm oil, Indonesia. Of approximately 11 million hectares of palm oil around the world, about 6 million hectares are found in Indonesia. What is palm oil? Oil from the fruit of certain palms. Why is it best found in Indonesia? Indonesia produces 35% of the world's palm oil. But how do they produce so much? Indonesia's palm oil plantations stretch over 6 million hectares in total, which is about 41,666 rugby fields to put in perspective. Indonesia plans to expand this amount by a further 4 million hectares by the end of 2015. Indonesia earns about $5.7 billion from its export earnings. Where is it used? Palm oil is mostly used in margarines, biscuits, bread, breakfast cereals, instant noodles, shampoos, lipsticks, candles, detergents, chocolates and ice creams. Environmental problems. During 2000 and 2005, the UN Food and Agriculture Organization estimates that Indonesia lost a massive 1.87 million hectares of forest every year. That is 9.36 million hectares over a five year period, an area the size of Portugal. Logging. Indonesia suggested that about 40% of logging due to deforestation was illegal, with a value of approximately $365 million. <laughs> logging and burning of forests to clear land has resulted in Indonesia becoming the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases behind China and the United States.